ഷാക്കതിരോകാൻ സതതാൻ അശേഷകായ പ്രസൃതാൻ അശേഷാൻ ഔത്സുക്യമോഹാരതിതാൻ ജഖാൻ യോ പൂർവൈദ്യായ നമോസ്തു തസ്മൈ ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു കണ്ടിന്യൂ വിത്ത് അന്യരക്ഷാധ്യായ ഇൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് വി ഹാഡ് ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് അബൌട്ട് ദ വിശദുഷ്ട ആഹാര ഇറ്റ്സ് പരീക്ഷ ദെൻ ആമാശയഗത പക്വാശയഗത വക്തൃഗത വിഷ എക്സെട്രാ ഇറ്റ്സ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ദെൻ താമ്രപ്രയോഗ സുവർണപ്രയോഗ എക്സെട്രാ ഓൾസോ വി ഹാഡ് ബീൻ ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് ദെൻ ഇൻ ദ എൻഡ് വി ഹാഡ് ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് അബൌട്ട് വിരുദ്ധാഹാര ഇറ്റ്സ് നിൽ എഫെക്ട്സ് ദെൻ വി ഹാഡ് ഓൾസോ ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് അബൌട്ട് അതർ ടോപ്പിക്സ് ദാറ്റ് അപത്യ ത്യാഗവിധി ബൈ വിച്ച് ദ പേഴ്സൺ ക്യാൻ ഗിവ് അപ്പ് ദ ബാഡ് ഹാബിറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ടു അഡോപ്റ്റ് ദ ഗുഡ് ഹാബിറ്റ്സ് വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാഡ് ഫിനിഷ്ഡ് ദെൻ ആഫ്റ്റർവേർഡ്സ് ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ത്രയോബ സ്തംഭ ബിഫോർ ഗോയിങ് ഫർദർ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു ഇൻട്രഡ്യൂസ് മൈ സെൽഫ് ഡോക്ടർ വിദ്യാനന്ദ് മോഹൻ അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് പ്രൊഫസർ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് സംഹിത ആൻഡ് സിദ്ധാന്ത ഫാക്കൾട്ടി ഓഫ് ആയുർവേദ ഗോകുൽ ഗ്ലോബൽ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി സിദ്പൂർ so trayoba stambha we have discussed uh, we already i have mentioned in uh, some other chapter in class also i had discussed the ones so trayoba stambha according to vagbhada it is vagbhada means it is applicable to both ashtanga hridayakara as well as ashtanga sangrahakara it is aahara nidra and abrahmacharya abrahmacharya refers to maithuna but according to acharya charaka and acharya susruta this trayoba stambha is aahara nidra and brahmacharya so the shloka is like this ആഹാരശയനാ ബ്രഹ്മചര്യർ യുക്ത്യാ പ്രയോജിതൈഹ് ശരീരം ധാരിതേ നിത്യം ആകാരമിവ ധാരണൈഹ് ഇറ്റ് മീൻസ് ത്രയോ ഉപസ്തംഭ വി ഹാറ്റ് സ്പ്ലിറ്റ് ദറ്റ് ടൂം ത്രയ മീൻസ് ത്രീ ഉപ മീൻസ് സബ് സ്തംഭ മീൻസ് പില്ലർ സോ ദ ത്രയോപസ്തംഭ മീൻസ് ത്രീ സബ് പില്ലേഴ്സ് വിച്ച് സപ്പോർട്ട് ദ ലൈഫ് ദ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ആഹാര ശയന ആൻഡ് അബ്രഹ്മചര്യർ ആഹാര ഇസ് ദ ഹെൽത്തി ഫുഡ് ആൻഡ് ഡ്രിങ്ക്സ് Shaina means nidra, that is proper sleep, and abrahmachira means healthy practice of sex, that is maithuna or strisev. Just like the support rendered by the pillars for a house, healthy practice of ahara, nidra and abrahmachira always support or maintain sharia of the individual. Because in order to suppose, in order to uh, strengthen or in order to maintain the integrity of the house, the pillars are very much required. similarly these three biological needs that is food then the sleep and then the sex these three are very much helpful in maintenance of the uh, our body if you are doing it in a wrong way you are indulging in wrong food habits and you are indulging in the wrong way of sleep and similarly you are indulging in wrong sexual intercourse sexual practices then definitely uh, it ends up with manifestation of diseases so description regarding ahara has already been made in previous chapters especially in rutucharya adhyaya we had discussed then mainly in dravadravya adhyaya adhyaya and anusruva vignanya adhyaya also we had discussed so and again in the contextually also we are mentioning various patya patyas etc that's why it will be further described based on relevance so here acharya agbada vagbada further stepping into the description of nidra and abrahmacharya first of all we are going through nidra first of all the praise for nidra that is nidra mahatmya nidra yattam sukham dukham pushti karsham balabalam vrushada klebada gnanam aknadam aknanam jeevitam nacha this is the praise for nidra acharya says the following factors related with an individual are governed by or regulated by nidra which include sukha and dukha പുഷ്ടി ആൻഡ് കാർഷി ബല ആൻഡ് അബല വൃഷത ആൻഡ് ക്ലീപത ജ്ഞാന ആൻഡ് അജ്ഞാന ജീവിത ആൻഡ് മരണ ബിക്കോസ് ഇഫ് യു കൺസിഡർ ദീസ് ടു തിങ്സ് ഇൻ എവറി പോയിന്റ്സ് യു ക്യാൻ സി ദീസ് ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് ഓഫ് സുഖ ഇസ് ദുഃഖ സുഖ ഇസ് ദ ഹെൽത്ത് ദുഃഖ ഇസ് ദ ഡിസീസ് സിമിലർലി പുഷ്ടി ഇസ് നറിഷ്മെന്റ് ആൻഡ് കാർഷി ഇസ് ഇമാസിയേഷൻ ബല ഇസ് ദ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ആൻഡ് അബല ഇസ് ദ ഡെബിലിറ്റി ഓർ വീക്ക്നെസ് വൃഷത ഇസ് ദ ശുക്രവൃദ്ധി ഓർ ദ പൊട്ടൻസി ആൻഡ് ക്ലീപത ഇസ് ദ ശുക്രക്ഷ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസി ദെൻ ജ്ഞാന ദ ഇസ് നോളജ് ആൻഡ് അജ്ഞാന ഇസ് ദ ഇഗ്നോറൻസ് ആൻഡ് ജീവിത മീൻസ് ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് ഇസ് എക്സാക്ട്ലി ഡെത്ത് സോ nidra is having the key role if you are practicing the nidra in a healthy way in the proper way you will be enjoyed with the sukha pushti bala vrushata jnana jivita etc instead of that if you are following wrong practice of sleep then definitely it leads to disease it leads to emaciation because that is quite evident because in uh, if the nidra is proper if or if you are having uh, especially in the nidra nasha avastha there are definitely vadavriddhi takes place so that karshita will be 
present and debility shukrakshaya uh, because uh, it is needed in our body our body needs sufficient rest and by that only them uh, our body's growth and all other promo uh, anabolic factors are being promoted that's why uh, this uh, sleep proper sleep is very much uh, needed because of this acharya is uh, giving you this description then acharya tells about the dushta nidra that is unhealthy sleep akala nidra ati nidra anidra that is akala means untimely sleep it is mithya yoga yukta and ati nidra that is increased sleep that is adi yoga yukta and anidra that is sleep deprivation hina yoga in everything everywhere every factors we have already mentioned that's hina yoga adi yoga and mithya yoga these three yogas are always ayoga it is not proper and the best one is samyak yoga that is the proper one says the three varieties of nidra that is mithya yoga adi yoga and hina yoga akala is the untimely sleep you may be sleeping for eight to more uh, uh, sufficient hours but if you are sleeping untimely then it is not good and ati nidra similarly the for a healthy person 6 to 7 or maximum 8 hours are sufficient instead of that you are sleeping in excess 10 11 12 hours that is ati nidra ati nidra me a nidra means you are even not sleeping 5 or 6 hours even less than that if you are doing that is hina yoga so these three varieties of nidra are compared to the kala ratri kala ratri means it is the fatal or uh, it, that which signifying the death factor according to some that is a mythology says uh, the person will be seeing a demon like person in the a lady in the dream that is called as kala ratri that appearance of such demon like creature signifies or it foresees the death similarly acharya here uses the term kala ratri means if you are following the uh, this wrong unhealthy sleep that is the un, uh, wrong methods or the unhealthy sleep definitely he will be die or it leads to the death of the individual and proper sleep that is samyak yoga is helpful for sukhayu that is health and longevity then acharya describes about the characteristics of nidra the uh, different types of nidra that is anidra that is uh, ratri jagrana if the person is not sleeping properly in the night it is ruksha then divasupna that is day sleep that is uh, again akala nidra it is snigdha in nature and asina prachalayita nidra that is sitting and sleeping because the person is acquiring a position of sitting and then he is sleeping that is a, a neither ruksha nor abhishyami nor snigdha in between that that is that's why in, uh, in instead of divasupna this sitting and sleeping will be more beneficial or it is more healthy then afterwards acharya describes about the day sleep that is divasupna first of all its indications indications of divasupna uh, divasupna uh, first indication is grishmarudu do in you all know that uh, uh, this chaya pragopa prashamaha vayo grishmadishu trishu so in grishmarudu there will be chaya of vata dosha and there will be increased rukshata of the adana kala and because uh, this uh, shishira vasanta and grishma constitute adana kala and varsha sharat hemanda constitute the visarga kala so during the adana kala the rukshata will be increasing ushnata rukshata etc will be increasing gradually and when it reaches the summer that is grishma ritu it becomes the peak that's why in the uh, grishma ritu you can expect the increased rukshata and lesser duration of the ratri in grishma ritu the duration of the night especially in the western part of our country you can see you can observe the sunset occurs usually by 7:30 or even 8 o'clock and again the sun rises around 5:30 to 5:40 or 5:45 at that time that's why the person's uh, sleep duration is very much less because the sunset is getting late because of the same reason the sleep also will be getting delayed and at the same time the person uh, usually he is supposed to get up before the sunset and uh, because of this reason the duration of the night as well as similarly obviously the duration of the sleep day night sleep also is reducing significantly because of this reason this grishma ritu divasupna is advised anticipating aggravation of kapha and pitta dosha divasupna is prohibited in other seasons people is having people are having a general notion that divasupna is increasing divasupna leads to the aggravation of kapha dosha alone but it is not like that divasupna practice of divasupna leads to the aggravation of both kapha dosha and pitta dosha because of this reason divasupna is prohibited in other seasons seasons other than grishma ritu that is shishira vasanta varsha sharat hemanta during these seasons uh, the grishma divasupna is prohibited then exception 
is there for the individuals uh, irrespective of the ritu the following people can practice uh, diva supna uh, they include the uh, the persons who got weak by bhashya uh, that is speech or talk, yana that is travel, adha that is walk, madhya alcohol consumption, stri that is three seva sexual intercourse. Then those who got weak by bhara carrying heavy loads, karma that is uh, physical activity, krodha that is anchor, shoka that is grief and bhaya. For such people, uh, they can practice the uh, sleep. They sleep even in other rutus also, rutus other than Grishma rutu also. Individuals who are suffering from Shasa, Shatakasa, Hitma, Ajirna, Atisara, Trishna, Shula, Vridha, Bala, Abala, Shina, Abhihadaha, that is injured by weapons, etc. Unmatta, suffering from Unmatta or the person who are eccentric in nature or insane. Then Divasaknochita, one who is Satme accustomed to the day sleep because in certain regions of our country you might have observed that people are habituated with the practice of day sleep since the childhood. Uh, so for such people also that is Divasaknochita, they can sleep, they are allowed to sleep along with the other clinical conditions, they are allowed to sleep during the daytime irrespective of the Ritu, not only in the Grishma Ritu, in all Ritus. And after that Acharya says Divasaknochita in above such condition is helpful to attain dhadu satya that is equilibrium of dosha and dhadu anka pushti that is nourishment of the body then the another important topic is prohibition of divasapna in which all people the divasapna is contraindicated individuals with increased kaba and medas in those bodies whose body there will be aggravation of kaba dosha and medo dhadu then those who consume snigdha ahara on daily basis so for such people divasapna is prohibited Prohibition of both Ratri Supna and Diva Supna, even the day, night sleep also prohibited in certain conditions. Both night and day sleep is prohibited for Vishartha Kandarogi. Vishartha Kandarogi cha Naiva Jadu Nishasucha. That is Vishartha means one who is suffering from poison because if the person who got affected with the poison, if he sleeps, then there will be chances of spread of the Visha. Because of this reason, it is prohibited. Then Kandarogi, one who is suffering from diseases in the Kanda Pradesha, that is neck or throat, for such people also Diva Supna is prohibited. The ill effects of Akala Shayana, untimely sleep. Akala Shayana leads to the manifestation of Moha, Jara, Staimitya, Penis. Uh, that is delirium, Moha is the Jara, uh, delirium, Jara is the fever, Staimitya is sluggishness. Uh, again, the commentator says, uh, if uh, the Chakrabani says, it is Ardra uh, Patanavat, the organs being wrapped by the wet cloth. That subjective feeling is called as Staimitya. Then penis running nose, if Akala shine untimely sleep, then Shiro Ruja that is headache, Shofa that is edema, Hrillasa is nausea, Srodarodha that is obstruction of Srodas, Akni Madhya. These are the ill effects of untimely sleep, Akala shine. How to manage it? You can manage it by practice of Upavasa that is fasting, Vamana, Svedana, Nasya. Then management of Atinidra, excessive sleep. Atinidra is cure caused due to the excessive Kabadosha, here you can administer Tikshna Vamana, Tikshna Anjana, Tikshna Nasya because these are the measures by which you can eliminate excessive or you can reduce excessive Kabadosha and injection of Lankana, Chinta, Vevaya because these three are aggra aggravating this again Shogabhaya Krodha, these three can influence aggravate Vata and can dress the Kabakshya because of this reason. These measures are helpful in alleviating aggravated Kabadosha and thereby prevent excess sleep. Then the important topics clinically Nidra Nasha that is uh, sleep deprivation or we can uh, correlate with insomnia. Loss of sleep leads to the manifestation if you are suffering from prolonged this lack of sleep. It leads to Angamar, the body pain, Shirogarva, heaviness to the head, Jirumbha, profuse yawning, Jardya, inertness, Glani, weakness, then Brahma, that is giddiness, Apakti, indigestion, Tandra, tiredness, Vada Jaroga, different Vada Vyadis. Then how to substitute Ratri Jagarana in unavoidable circumstances like uh, certain professional, medical professionals, related, that is occupational health related. Uh, so based on their occupation, they are uh, they cannot avoid the uh, they cannot sleep properly in the night. So how to substitute it? If a person is deprived of sleep during the night, he is advised for day sleep. Day sleep can be taken if you are unable to sleep during the night because of certain factors like your job, etc. So but it is having certain regulations. Acharya says day sleep should be done in the morning hours without having the food. You are not supposed to take the uh, sleep afternoon or you are not supposed to 
have the day sleep after consuming the food always you should have the sleep in the morning hours without having food duration of sleep should be half the duration of the sleep practice during the night hours if in the night hours how many do how much uh, how, how long you are sleeping it's half only you are sufficient because already the was obtained stick there in nature that's why it's half quantity is sufficient so usually a person will be sleeping for uh, two to uh, two yamas or 1.5 to two yama now we can say six to eight hours so uh, there uh, you can sleep during the daytime that is uh, four hours or three hours that much is sufficient you no need to sleep for seven or eight hours during the daytime in order to substitute the ratri jagarana then management of nidra nasha how to manage the person who is deprived of sleep is advised to consume kshira dadhi mamsa madhya etc then practice of uh, kshira again we can uh, specifically more specifically you can select uh, buffalo's milk mahish kshira hidamatyakni anidrebyo we have mentioned giriyo mahisho himam then dadhi mamsa madhya etc mamsa also again mahisha mamsa we can take because mahisha mamsa is also having the property of nidra janaka ദെൻ പ്രാക്ടീസ് അഭ്യങ്ക ഉദ്ധർത്തന സ്നാന മൂർദ്ധതയിൽ കർണപൂരണ നേത്ര തർപ്പണ എക്സെട്രാ ദീസ് ഓൾ പ്രൊമോട്ട് സ്ലീപ്പ് ആൻഡ് അതർ മെഷേഴ്സ് വിച്ച് ആർ അഡ്വൈസ്ഡ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ്സ് കേഴ്സിംഗ് ഹഡ് ഹഗ് ബൈ ദ പിലോൺ ബിക്കോസ് ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഓൾവേസ് സൂത്തിങ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി റിലീവിംഗ് ദ സ്ട്രെസ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ കണ്ടെൻമെൻറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ മൈൻഡ് ദെൻ ഫുൾഫിൽമെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഡിസൈസ് ഇഫ് യൂഷ്വലി ഇഫ് യു ആർ എനി സോർട്ട് ഓഫ് ഡിസൈസ് ആർ ഹോണ്ടിങ് ഇൻ യുവർ മൈൻഡ് ദെൻ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി യു ആർ വിൽ ബി അനേബിൾ ടു സ്ലീപ്പ് so it has to be fulfilled then sensory objects which are pleasing to mind so hearing to the good news hearing listening good things uh, better to avoid watching the horror movies or uh, horrible news etc instead of that you can read some good books good music etc that's what sensory objects which are pleasing to the mind observance of brahmacharya brahmacharya is advised detachment towards the gramya dharma that is maithuna or practice of sex because whenever you are indulging in the uh, uh, sex sexual activities it may be the due you will be deprived of the sleep and your mind will be more involved because of this reason uh, the sleep will be affected and even the person who is thinking of the uh, attempting such sexual intercourse also his mind will be in that fantasy world and he will be more thinking about that thing so because of this his uh, sleep will be disturbed so one who is desirous of having a lengthy sleep should uh detached towards the gramya dharma and delightful state of mind nidra sandosha triptasya sakalam nyati vartate that satisfaction of the mind always promotes the sleep for such people the sleep will not occur in a delay manner this is what uh, all about the sleep and uh, this is the trayobastamba second trayobastamba and the third one is abramacharya that is what acharya vagbhada that is both vruddha vagbhada and that is ashtanga sangaragara and ashtanga hridayagara says according to charaga and susruta it is uh, brahmacharya because abramacharya is having its own maithunya karma maithunya karma in a regulated way according to modern science also it is having Uh, much benefits in the circulatory system etc because of uh, this uh, reason uh, maybe and in the kali yuga the p- people's mind or they are not able to control uh, having that much control like the krita yuga dwapara yuga etc because that's why acharya vagbada uh, is having its works also or uh, works are also having much significant during this yuga because of this reason he may be having the supporting view of abramacharya um so abramacharya refers to the healthy practice of maithuna that is sexual life regulations for maithuna for maithuna a lady with these characteristics following characteristics should be avoided it means anutta anutta means not maintaining the supine position supine position of the lady is advised then the rajasula a menstruating woman then apriya lacks interest apriya chara who is doing wrong activities dushta yoni vishayated yoni which is affected by any sort of diseases etc sangirna yoni that is constricted yoni then atisthula and atikrisha two obese or two lean lady also should be avoided then sutika short period after child delivery child delivery that is 90 days we can say according to some ajaras it is 45 days because after delivery that uh, uh, the uh, nowadays also we know the stitches everything is there to in order to come back to the normal it may take some time so and the hormonal variations are also present and uh, because of these reasons then garbhani pregnant woman anya yoshita other than wife varnani that is one who observes brahmacharya brahmacharya then anya yoni practice of sex with animals that is bestiality etc then uh, maithunya should be avoided at residence of guru and nirpalaya 
which is in the uh, Guru Alaya as well as Nirpalaya Palace, Chaitya, Buddha Devalaya or Worship Place, Shmashan that is funeral or burial ground because that area will be having much negativity. Ayatan that is Vadastana area will be area where killing is executed in such areas because that having a lot of negative impacts because of these reasons. The Chattura that is junction of three roads, Ampu Jalashya that is river, lake etc. because the chances of microbial contamination, infectious diseases etc. Chatushpada that is junction or four roads. Here it means that the Chattura as well as Chatushpada means we can say the person who is uh, living in such crowded places because the concentration or the presence of mind is much nearer. Usually if you are residents or the area where you are selecting and you are performing the sexual intercourse, it is it should be much pleasing and in the such places like Chattura, Chaturah, Chatushpata, etc. will be crowded and it will be too noisy. Maybe because of this reason, Acharya might have uh, prohibited the practice of sexual intercourse in such uh, regions. Maithanya should be avoided on Parva, that is auspicious days, for example, Sankranti, Ekadishi, etc. And Divasa, that is daytime, during daytime also, it should be avoided. Then Maithanya should be avoided by Ananka, that is unnatural methods, for example, oral sex, sodomy, etc. Then uh, that is because these are sexual perversions. Then Atishita after excess food intake, Adridhi without interest, Chudvan, one who is hungry, and Pipasita, one who is thirsty. Then Dustitangaha, wrong or irregular postures. One, one, one is not supposed to adopt any sort of this uh, wrong positions due for the sexual intercourse, Bala that is child, Vridha that is old age, Anya, Anya Vegartha during the urge of Purisha, Mutra etc. Vegas, one should not indulge in the sexual course, sexual intercourse, Rogi that is the patient also because patient is too weak uh, just like the Bala and Vridha, they are also a Bala with Aparipakko Dadu and Vridha with the Dhadu Kshayavastha, so the person should not indulge during Maidunya, Tadanya that is beating or stroking of the Shiras that is head and Hridaya are to be avoided. Maithanya Dema based on Rutu during Hemanda and Shishira. Maithanya can be practiced as per wish daily basis of the individuals who got well prepared by the Vajigira Naushadi. If you are consuming the Vajigira Naushadi daily, then he can practice the sexual intercourse daily on he, during Hemanda and Shishira Rutu. Moreover, in Hemanda and Shishira Rutu, there is the uh, Shishira Rutu, the Kabha Chaya is there, so it is somewhat beneficial. Again, in Vasanda Rutu also Kabha Prakopa, so it is an interval of three days. Uh, similarly, uh, Sharat and uh, Sharat Rutu also it can be practiced in an interval of three days and during Grishma and Varsha Maidunya can be practiced in once in 15 days because of in Grishma Rutu Vada Chaya occurs and in uh, Varsha Rutu Vada Prakopa takes place because of this reason if you are indulging in Vivaya Karma definitely Vada Prakopa takes place and uh, especially in Atana Rukshata of the Atana Kala will be more during the Grishma Rutu because of these reasons uh, it is contraindicated or it is prohibited or the gap of 15 days is advised. Then, ill effects of improper Maithanya Savanya. If you are not following the uh, norms related with the Maithanya, it leads to Brahma, Klama, Urudorbila, that is weakness of lower limbs, Belakshaya, Dhadukshaya, Indriyakshaya, Aparva Marana, that is untimely or early death. Benefits of proper Maithanya Savanya. If you are for practicing Maithanya in a healthy way, it leads to Smriti, Medha, Ayu, Arogya, Pushti, Indriyabala, that is Shukravardhi, Yasha, that is fame, Mandajara, that is delayed aging. Then measures for sudden revival of virility, that is Dhamma or Sharira Teja after Maithanya, because uh, usually after Maithanya Garma, the person may get weak and the Shukra attains share. So, here special Vihara and Ahara are advised after the sexual intercourse in order to regain the virility. Uh, Ajayya says Viharas include Snana, that is Bath, Anilayapana, anointments, Hima Anila Sevana, exposing to the cold breeze and Shaina, sleep also is advised. Then Ahara include Khandagadya, that is food prepared out of sugar candy. Then Shira milk, Mamsarasa, Yusha, Sura or Prasanya Madhya, these are having some prabhava and by that it will be an, uh, helpful in regaining the strength of the individual after doing the Maithuna Karma. So conclusion of the Adhyaya, Acharya says, Acharya concludes the Adhyaya by praising the role of Bishak for health and longevity of the king. The king has to depend on the Bishak with full trust for his their erection, that is protection of the body that is because the chapter started with the importance of pranacharya and again he concludes also telling the same that the uh, physician should always uh, trust upon the uh, royal physician if for the purpose of the protection of his body because uh, the uh, 
prosperity of the country always depends on the health of the uh, uh, king so he should depend and such royal physician should be endowed with following quality he is having shastra jnana and follows the same uh, not only really having the theoretic, theoretical knowledge he should uh, his activities also should reflect the same karma daksha well versed in therapeutic procedures dayalu he should be kind or merciful the king under the care of such bishop that is the royal physician pranachari bishop will be blessed with tej that is lustre swasthya health kirti fame prabhava wealth or prosperity the chira or dirgha ayu that is prolonged life span with this we are concluding today's session as well as today's this anyaraksha vidhi adhyaya also has been finished i would like to remind you there is no shortcut to success other than hard work so please continue working hard myself dr vidyanand mohan assistant professor department of samhita and siddhanta faculty of ayurveda gokul global university was there with you for narrating this chapter thank you